Hello everybody. Before I get underway with the Price is Right pricing and recap for tonight, I'd like to thank NBC11 News Clips for noting a mistake I made in the kind of suite that was given away in the trip to Chicago in pushover from yesterday, although it wasn't one, it was trying to give it away. I mentioned it was a premium suite, but it was actually a premier suite. So that's what I get for that mistake. And speaking of NBC 11 news clips, by his request, let's pause for a moment of silence as Bob Welsh from Fleetwood Mac passed away yesterday at the age of 66. It's now time to pay our respects. Thank you very much. And now the disclaimer. Mr. Horgan's disclaimer. The opinions expressed toward contestants on the price is right in their decision making and pricing and that can be categorized as either stupid or misleading by the audience, plus showing favoritism specifically to attractive females portrayed as a heel characteristic for entertainment purposes only. In actuality, no prejudice is shown toward the contestant based on their sex, their ethnicity, and their intelligence. And now it's time for the fabulous Price is Right pricing game recap for Friday, June 8, 2012. Today's pricing games played were the following to end the week. Easy as one, two, three. Cover up. Double cross. Side by side. Cliffhangers and ten chances. The first contestant was Deanna. She played easy as one, two, three for a Honda CRF 70F off-road motorcycle that is, that is designed to build confidence for new riders. Also, it's lightweight, and it features a three-speed semi-automatic transmission, modeled by Gorgeous Gwendolyn. She was also playing for a 65-inch Panasonic Wi-Fi-ready plasma TV that features full high def 3D technology, and it came with a 3D starter kit and two pairs of glasses, and a pair of BEND designer leather bags that included a melon-colored shoulder bag with chain-link strap and a crocodile embossed envelope clutch with stud detailing. Both of those prizes, the TV and the handbags, were modeled by Marvelous Manuela. And Manuela, I believe, brought out the blocks. Deanna placed block number one on the designer bags, believing they were the least expensive. She placed block number two on the motorcycle, believing that was the second least expensive. And finally, she placed the TV with on um, block, num block number three on the TV, believing that was the most expensive prize. Now I'd like to point out that I had to watch this result on CBS.com because President Obama today interrupted the first part of the Price is Right, which I did not like, and neither did Neil Rock 87, as I know for a fact from him. Anywho, first the price of the designer bags were revealed by Manuela, and they were. $726. Next, Gwendolyn revealed the price of the motorcycle, and it was $1,960. So if that TV was born in 1960, Deanna would win all three prizes. And Manuela revealed the price of the TV to be... $3,299! She won all three prizes for a grand total of $5,985. Okay, Rory played cover-up for a Toyota Yaris LE three-door liftback modeled by Manuela. The raw price was $34,860. He covered up the three with a one, the four with a three, the eight with a seven, the six with an eight, and the zero with another eight, making the new price $13,788. Was that the price of the car? No, it was not. Did he have at least one number right? Yes, he did. He got the one right. Now he covered up the three with a seven, the seven with a two, 
the 8 with a 5, and the second 8 with a 6, making the new price $17,256. Was that the price of the car? No, it wasn't. Did he have any new numbers right? He did. He had the 7 and the 2 correct. Now he covered up the 5 with a 9 and the 6 with a 7, making his new guess of the price $17,297. You ask me, I really didn't feel one of those two were right. Was it the price of the car? No, it wasn't. Was the 9 or the 7 correct for him to keep on playing? No! And Cover Up gets its 26th loss according to Sports Guy 528, Ben 7 2487. Well, actually, he didn't really acknowledge that. Just Sports Guy 528 and NBC 11 News Clips acknowledge that fact. Actual retail price, 17213 well, one of the three were the numbers I was thinking was going to be in the price. All right. Janice, no, not Janice Pennington, the former TPIR model, became the first contestant in Price is Right history to play Double Cross, the brand new pricing game. This pricing game, as Sports Guy 528 informed me, but I also watched, on TV today, is this game is played for two prizes. The first prize is a MyBathUSA.com Rainforest 78 Steam Shower that features a built-in hot tub, TV, hands-free phone, stereo system, and much more, modeled by Manuela, and a five-burner commercial-grade Jackson Grill stainless steel barbecue grill that is sure to enhance your barbecuing experience and it features an integrated stereo system and storage drawers modeled by Gwendolyn. Now, the numbers that are in, the numbers are inside an X, and the price of the steam shower goes this way, and the price of the barbecue grill goes like this way. Well, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm kind of, obviously this is a new game that I'm recapping, but I'll eventually get better at it. But the point of what I'm trying to get at is Janice had to use her finger, this is a touchscreen game, to move what she believed the price of the two prizes were. Okay, on this side we had numbers 7865327. They were in the steam shower price. And going... This way, we had 6895120. Now, when Janice lined up the prices for the two prizes, she believed that the steam shower price was 7865 and 5120. All right. Was Janice the very first winner in the new pricing game for Double Cross? No, she was not. Oh. The, the actual retail prices were for the steam shower 5327 and the barbecue grill was 6895 You know, at one point she had it at those two prices, and I really wish she had kept it at that, because 5327 seemed pretty familiar to me for that steam shower. Oh well, there's always next time for that price game to be won. However, if Carlito witnessed that pricing game being lost for the first time in its debut, he more than likely would have said this. Well, think positive, Carlito. Surely the next time this pricing game gets played, it's bound to get a winner. Yep, that will be cool. Alright, Andrew played side-by-side -side for a trip to the Bahamas that included a five-night luxury-included stay at Sandals Royal Bohemian Spa Resort in Offshore Island, mall by Gwendolyn. He chose the side of 7,348, over the side of 4,873. And was he a winner? Sure he was! 
7,348 was the price. Very easy win there. Joshua from my state, as well as Sports Guy 528, state of New Jersey, who fights fires for a living. He's a fireman. And I could tell he was from New Jersey because he was wearing a Rutgers hoodie, playing cliffhangers for a complete stainless steel kitchen that included a 30-inch freestanding gas range, a 20.6 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer, and a 24-inch built-in dishwasher, plus groceries for a year. That's for 52 weeks. Modeled by Gwendolyn, and it was valued at $6,694. Manuela modeled the three small prizes, which were a microwave popcorn popper that is designed to melt butter right onto your popcorn, an electric hand mixer that features six-speed settings and a powerful 250-watt motor, and four heart-shaped serving bowls. First for the popper, Joshua believed it was $19. Not $19. Mount Climber went up one step, just one step. Manuel revealed the price to be $20. I knew that one. Now for the electric hand mixer. Joshua believed it was $33. It wasn't $33. The mountain climber went up three more steps. Manuel revealed the price to be $30. I basically guessed that price. So, the mountain climber was on the fourth step, meaning he could go 21 more steps safely. So, Joshua could not miss the price of the serving bowls by more than $21. He believed they were $23. They were not $23. So, the least they could be was $2, which obviously I would not think they would be that price. And the most they could be was $44. So, the mountain climber kept going up and up and up and up and up. And when he reached on the 21st step, he stopped! The price revealed by Manuel was $40. I knew that price as well. And Money 7373 favorite pricing game has been won! Finally, Cheney played 10 chances for a Zoku Frozen Pop Maker that freezes ice pops in as little as 7 minutes a three-speed Electra Amsterdam Ladies Bicycle that, bring up, that blends classic Dutch design with comfortable features like its plush Springer seat and swept-back handlebars, both modeled by Manuela, and a Hyundai Elantra GLS modeled by Gwendolyn. First for the pop maker, Janie wrote $35. Not right. Then she wrote down $50, and that was right! She won it in two chances. Now for the bicycle, she wrote down $785. Nope, not it. Then she wrote $870. That was not it. Then she wrote $580, and she was right! So she won it in three chances. Now for the car. Five chances left to win it. She first wrote down $19,870. Not the price. Then she wrote 17890 That was not right. She wrote down 18970 next. This was her eighth overall chance in the game. Did she win it here? Well, let me see. 18970 That was the price! She won all three prizes for a grand total of $19,600. And that would be a kind of win in which the Miz would say, couldn't agree more. Now to the acknowledgement section. According to Sports Guy 528, cover up was lost for the 26th time this season. Also told me about the pricing game debuting today called Double Cross. According to Benham 72047, Double Cross. He wants to give me his honest opinion about this game. He thinks it's a good game with potential. It's confusing to him at first, but he thinks this game will be around for quite some time. It's the 106th game 
to debut in the 40 years The Price is Right has been on CBS. And it's the fifth game to debut in the Drew Carey era. And it's the first game to debut since George Grace started announcing a little more than a year ago. In his opinion, if this game had debuted in the Barker era, the egg crate font may have been used and the game would probably have been mechanical. Don't I think? What do you think of Double Cross Chief, as he asked me? In uh, my honest opinion, I don't think it's a pretty bad game. It looks really cool. Um, I think it's a game that's very easy to win. Unfortunately, it wasn't won today. But uh, I can definitely see some winners in that game in the near future. Now, according to Ben M7, 2047, and 10 Chances, the game was played six for the first time since May 27, 2009, when the game still had the classic look. And I missed the classic look. In the Showcase Showdown, you know about the split screen you see during the spin-off during the second player's spin? There was none in the first half. Today marked the fifth time this season with a bonus spin-off. I'll get to that later. Now, according to NBC 11 News Clips, cover-up marked its 26th loss this season. A brand new price scheme double cross marked the first loss this season. Only Gwendolyn and Manuela were on the show today. No Rachel, Amber, or Daniel Goddard. Rachel is still doing her Venus swimwear shoot at the time of today's taping. $2,500 is given away. $500 won by Deanna for her perfect bid. And $1,000 in the second showcase showdown. That was won by Joshua and Jamie. Any more acknowledgments from NBC 11 News Clips? Oh, yes. Yeah. In the showcase reveal, Drew failed to mention the prizes that were included in both Janice and Joshua's showcase. So we ended off the week really strong with four big wins. Easiest one, two, three, side by side, cliffhangers and ten chances. Plus we got to witness the debut of Double Cross. $2,500 was also given away. $500 won by Deanna for a perfect bid. And $1,000 won by Joshua and Jeannie in the second showcase showdown. The MVPs of the Price is Right are Deanna, Andrew, Joshua, and Jeannie, and Janice is the contestant recognition contestant for winning her showcase that involved a trip to Seattle that included a six-night stay in a deluxe king room at the Hyatt at Olive 8, plus a guided walking tour that she'll roam the sub subterranean passages that were once the main roadways and storefronts of old downtown Seattle, a trip to London that included a six-night stay in an executive room, including daily breakfast, at a five-star luxury hotel that is situated in London's Knightbridge area and just a short walk from Hyde Park, plus with two London Underground passes and a pair of theater tickets in hand, she'll ride the two to Leicester Square, where she'll take in a show. And she also won a trip to Australia that included a six-night stay in a double queen suite at the Lookout Cave Underground Motel. Not Hotel. Uh, plus, it included a three, four-wheel drive tour to partaking... It included three, four-wheel drive tours to partake a mining tour and exploring the Australian Outback. That showcase was all modeled by Gwendolyn. Janice bid $23,500. The actual retail price was $28,996. A difference of $5,496. So I gotta say, we had a really great week this week with a lot of pricing games won. This week, the Price is Right Price Game Recap has been sponsored by Just the Basics Party Mix. Available at CBS Pharmacy. Now it's time for the sponsor spoiler. Next week, the Price is Right Price Game Recap will be sponsored by the very best of All-Star Family Feud starring Richard Dawson. Like I mentioned in my Richard Dawson Remembrance video, I plan on having this as my sponsor for next week, and that's exactly what I'm going to do to pay my respects. So, next week is the last full week of the 40th season of The Price is Right. Week after that, there's only two shows. So, will Sports Guy 528's favorite pricing game of Rat Race be played? I have a good feeling it will. 
And will Magic Number be once again played for Neil Rock 87? We'll find out next week. Next Friday is not only the five-year anniversary of Bob Barker's retirement from The Price is Right, but it's also going to be a special Father's Day show. This is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you next week.